Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is based from the topic of vectors and in this question we have been told that P, Q, R are your three non coplanar vectors in the plane R cube. Further, they are telling us let S bar be a vector whose components along P, Q and R are given to us as 4, 3 and 5. So I can write S bar as 4PQ, 4P plus 3Q and 5R, right? Because these are the components along this directions P, Q and R. And further, they are telling us if the components of this vector S bar along minus P plus Q plus R, then along P minus Q plus R and along minus P minus Q plus R that are X, Y and Z respectively. So the components along this, this and this are X, Y and Z for the same vector S. Then we need to find the value of 2X plus Y plus Z in this question, right? Let's try to find out the value for this expression. So before that, first of all, we need to find the values of X, Y, and Z. So if I apply the same idea which they have given to us, they have told us the components of vector S along this, this, and this are X, Y, and Z respectively. So I can write this vector S as X into the direction that is along minus B plus Q plus R plus y along the direction p minus q plus r and along z in the direction of minus p minus q plus r. So now if I see here, I can write this as, if I take let's say vector p common, so vector p I get it as minus x plus y minus z. Then if I talk about q, that vector q, I get it as x. Here I have minus y here instead of plus y if I have minus y. And here for q again, I have minus z. And the third vector r is having. So here with vector r, I have x plus y plus z, right? So I have this three components of vector s. Now, if I write that vector S, which was given to us in terms of P, Q, R and as 4P plus 3Q plus 5R. So now let's understand. So I can write this vector S as 4P plus 3Q plus 5R. So now I equate the vectors along this direction P bar first. I get this equation as minus X plus Y minus Z is equal to 4. Along Q, if I equate the components, I get X minus Y minus Z is equal to 3 and X plus Y plus Z is equal to 3. Right? Now, if I try to solve this entire equation, I can get the values of X, Y and Z. So, first of all, let's try to solve these three equations and let's find the values of X, Y and Z. Once we get these values of X, Y and Z, we can directly find out 2x plus y plus z. Okay, let's do that. So, first equation I had in this case was minus x plus y minus z. Next equation I had is x minus y minus z. Then I had x plus y. This is equal to 4, 3, and 5. So if I try to solve, let's say this is my equation 1, 2, and 3. So I can see here y and z here as well as here have different signs. So I can, if just add directly 2 and 3, I can get the values of x, 
because y and z would get cancelled so adding 2 and 3 gives me x plus x 2x y minus y gets cancelled z and minus z also gets cancelled you get 2x is equal to 8 so x becomes you get the value of x from this now if i put the value of x in any one of this i can directly get the values of y and z so if I put it, let's say in the equation 3, my equation 3 now changes to 4 plus y plus z is equal to 5. So y plus z becomes 1. And if I put x as 4 again in the first equation, it becomes minus 4 plus y minus z is equal to 4. So y minus z, this becomes y minus z is equal to 3. So once I have these two equations with me, I can directly add them. So y plus z is 1, y minus z is 8. If I add these two equations directly, so let's say this is equation 4 and this is equation 5. Adding these two gives me 2y is equal to 9, y becomes 9 by 2. Once I get y as 9 by 2, I can directly get z. z is 1 minus y, so 1 minus 9 by 2, that is minus 7. So I have got all the values, x is 4, y is 9 by 2, z is minus 7 by 2. Now if I just find the value of the expression which was asked to us, that was 2x plus y plus z. So 2 into 4 plus 9 by 2 plus minus 7. That gives me 8 plus 2 by 2 and that's 1. So 8 plus 1, that becomes so I get the answer for the value of this expression which is asked to us, that is 9. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on vectors, where we have been given the components of a particular vector along PQR also, and then along X, Y, and Z also, right? No, not along X, Y, Z, but along these three directions, the vector components were expressed. So how to solve this? Just equate them. You get three equations, find the values of x, y, and z, and then substitute and find the values of this question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my videos as well as my channel. Thank you.